the Frogs and the Miners. It is UTEP at 8-2, TCU 15th ranked in the country at 8-1. Let's take a look at the wax standings. You'll see the importance. UTEP already a share of the title guaranteed. The season finale today. TCU needs victories in this game as well as at SMU, and that could open the door for San Jose State to sneak in as tri champ. Well, speaking of simplicity, that may describe TCU and their offense. Give the ball to LT, Ladanian Tomlinson. He is responsible. Well, give it to Ladanian Tomlinson. That's fine, but how do you stop him? That's what teams have tried to figure out all year. They haven't come close. He leads the nation in games and average yards per rush and second in scoring in the league. LaDainian Tomlinson is one of those special backs. They did that without any rehearsal. Welcome back as LaDainian Tomlinson gets the big welcome on senior day here at Amon Carter Stadium. We're in Fort Worth for WAC football. TCU number 15 in the country and UTEP coming in already owning a share of the WAC title. They almost feel like they're cheating their team if they don't feed him the ball at least 25 to 30 times a game. Thomas on the pitch. 20, 25, 30 and first down and more. Third and nine from the 32 for TCU. Tomlinson, big hole, 40, watch out, 50, Tomlinson shakes a tackle, and he'll take it to the zone. Watch the delay here, it's a delay draw, he lets everything develop in front of him, and then he just breaks the tackle and gets into the secondary, a strong one, Clemens cannot make the tackle, and LaDainian Tomlinson does a nice job of getting it into the end zone, an easy score for TCU. Well, what he does, he does a good job of setting up. Watch the hesitation he has. The guard crosses with the center, do a good job of picking up the defensive lineman, makes it an easier run through for LaDainian Tomlinson. He doesn't get touched at the line of scrimmage, but breaks a couple of tackles in the secondary and route to a 68-yard score. Look at the delay that he has here. He stops, what let everything develop in front of him. It's a good job, good job of waiting for his lineman to make the blocks in front of him. I'll tell you, that's what he does well. He sets up his blocks and runs behind him, Bill. 19th touchdown of the year, a new record, and the Wax all-time leading rusher now. You can see Tomlinson set up here. You may be wondering, another record last year against UTEP. 406 yards rushing and six touchdowns. And Coach Dennis Franchione said he was about to take him out until he got the word. Yeah, one of the guys came on his eye and said, Coach, uh, you don't want to take him out. He says, why? He says, he's about five yards away from 400. He didn't know it at the, on the field at the time. And he gave LT the ball just a couple more times and got enough to put him over the, the 400 mark. And Tomlinson. That, of course, gave him uh, the push for the Heisman, set the defense up for a first and 10 to 26 for TCU. Printer to Tomlinson. Tomlinson, look at another one. 40. He almost went the distance again. Well, you take a look at him here. It's coming right at you. LaDainian Tomlinson scoots to the line, breaks the tackle, keeps his legs moving. I'll tell you, if he'd had one more blocker, one somebody to hold on, Nick Clemens, or he can get him out of the way. It's another score for the young man. Give him 18. It's first and 10 at the 44. Tomlinson breaks another tackle in midfield as he moves into UTEP territory. As they say, he's a pretty sore customer every Sunday and gets better every day. And by Saturday, he's rare to go, and he's shown that today. Second and four, the pitch to Tomlinson. Got the first down and across to the 40 yard line. Second and six at the 13 now. Printers on the option. Now he pitches. Tomlinson dives to near the first down marker. Tomlinson, watch out, 20. He'll be gone if he beats one. 50. Tomlinson. Oh my goodness. 89 yards. First of all, that's what we ought to marvel at. Look at the cutback. That's the most important thing. Ladanian Tomlinson reads the cutback very well, and nobody even touches him. One defender tried to dive at him, but he just went right over the top of him. Look at the speed this young man possesses. Outruns the entire UTEP secondary. Well, he's up over 1,900 yards for his quest for 2,000 yards, but uh, he's got a career against UTEP. <laughs> well, he sure has. Look at those numbers just against UTEP the last three games. Third and three in the 33 of printers to pass it to Tomlinson. And he's got the first down as he goes out of bounds. Second and goal from the one-yard line now. 
Dunbar in motion. Tomlinson, no doubt this time, as he leaps across. And TCU and Tomlinson get six more. His offensive line, he calls them his big uglies, and he knows that they're the ones that get him these yardage and the tough yards, but that one over the top, that's got to be all LT right there. Tomlinson. And so close. He got the first down, but he's 321 to get 2,000 yards. Tomlinson. And again. And we talk about yards after contact. Yak. Second down and two for the 44. Tomlinson again. Stiff arms one, tugs, and across to the 38, 37 yard line. Second and seven. Tomlinson picks up another seven as he gets down to the 13 yard line. Down to number 44, Hamul High making the tackle. I mean, when everybody on the football field knows exactly who's getting the ball, Gary, and the guy still gets five, seven, eight yards, uh, I mean, it's just a huge testament to not only his line, but just this guy's determination. Well, I tell you, LaDainian Tomlinson is about wore out, and uh, they call timeout here, TCU does. Welcome back to Amon Carter Stadium. Following the timeout on a third and one, Pringles went back to pass and got sacked. So now it is a fourth down and long, about nine. They call it eight in the 21, and Tomlinson is out of the ball game. And 33 carries, 305 yards, his third career third or 300 plus yard game, and Tomlinson apparently through for the afternoon.